in about um, uh, 10 to 12 ounces of water, I slice the ginger really thin. This is ginger and I slice it really thin. Did you peel it already? Or yes, it's, it's all been peeled. Okay. And about uh, how much are you? Oh, about that much? three tablespoons of it. Okay. One uh, cinnamon stick. About a teaspoon of nutmeg. And where did you learn this? Uh, from an herb lady <laughs> that was uh, when I had uh, my first heart attack. <laughs> and this is good for what? Colds and fevers and stuff. Okay. And then about a teaspoon of uh, cl or, uh, yeah, cloves. Okay. Okay. Then we put this in on the stove and heat it. <laughs> okay. We'll be back when it's done. Yeah, if we bring it up to a boil, but not very long. And then we let it kind of just sit and, and uh, melt together. Okay, <laughs> now we brought this to a boil. We can just take it off and let it steep for a while. All right, it does smell good. It smells like Christmas. <laughs> and uh, after it, uh, we steep it, why then we just put it in a cup and add uh, honey okay. to make it really taste good. Okay. And then you sip that and uh, put it on your throat and so forth. Okay. And what about, um, I've seen you like keep reusing this stuff. Yes. And then you don't have to make new ingredients every time. You can uh, just add a little more uh, of the stuff, more uh, cloves and, and uh, cinnamon and stuff like that. And it'll uh, just add a little more and just, you don't have to boil it every time. A lot of people just bring it up and steep it. But I bring it to boil once, and then after that, I just steep it. Oh, all right. And this is good on your throat and any... Yeah, good. It's just a good cold remedy and some flus and stuff like that. Uh, helps uh, soothe your throat and do things like that. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Daddy.